Hello friends, welcome to Curiosity High. Well, in this session, we are going to go through the logical reasoning section for class 4. This is an NCO paper, but mind you, the logical reasoning questions are common across all the Olympiad subjects like math, science, etc. So I recommend all the class 4 students to go through these interesting questions and solve them along with me. Do pause the video where you need to and then look at how we have solved these questions. But before we hop on, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Curiosity High. So let's start with our first question for the NCO for class 4. The first question reads, if Varun is facing west and he takes 3 4 turn anti-clockwise, half turn clockwise and finally 2 8 turn anti-clockwise, where will he be facing? This is a figure given here and though this may look difficult but if we break the question into smaller portions, we will be able to solve this easily. If you want, you can pause the video and try it yourself. Now in such a question where there is no direction given, we assume that north is upwards and if north is upwards, then the left of it is west direction. So our first statement is Varun is facing west. That means Varun starts from the park and then he takes 3 fourth turn anti-clockwise. Now anti-clockwise is this direction and 3 by 4 is when we divide the circles into 4 equal parts and shade 3 parts. So that means it is 3 quarters. So from park, 3 quarters anti-clockwise will land us to hospital. So now let's go to the next part which says half turn clockwise. From hospital, we have to take half turn clockwise. Now clockwise is this direction shown by the red arrow and half turn that means half circle from hospital would land us to playground. Now let's go to the third and final part of the question which is from the playground. Now from the playground 2 8th turn anti-clockwise. Now we know that the anti-clockwise is this direction. Now 2 8th, how will we come to that? Well, we'll draw a circle and divide it into 8 equal parts. So with the spokes that are shown, we get 8 equal parts. And in the anti-clockwise direction, this will give us 2 8 that means house is where we land up after covering 2 8 of the direction and so our right answer is option A house. Let's look at our second question which says which of the following option shows the correct mirror image of the given combination. Here we have a combination. Pause the video if you want to try it yourself. Now for a mirror image, what you need to understand is the figure needs to be shown at its horizontal reflection. So for example, a number like 3 would be reflected something like this. Similarly, a number like F would get reflected as this. So you need to find the horizontal reflection here and matching the figures, the right answer would be option B. Next question. If the given matrix follows a certain rule row wise or column wise, then find the missing number. Here a matrix is given. Pause the video and try to get your logic around. Well, here if you look at the last row, they are quite different than the first two rows. So that should give you a tip that it would be a combination of first two rows that gives the last row. And if you dig more deep, you will understand that the row that the first row plus second row multiplied by 4 is giving the third row. This is the logic. Let's try it out. 12 plus 13 into 4, which is nothing but 25 times 4. That gives us 100. Well, that is true for the first one. Let's try the second one. That will be 8 plus 15 times 4. Well, 8 plus 15 is 23 times 4 is equal to 92. So, our second one is right. 
Hence, based on that, we'll just calculate 16 plus 52 times 4. So, that is 68 times 4, which will give us 272. So, this is your answer. Next question says, which of the following part is exactly embedded in figure X? This is the figure here and these are some options we need to choose from. Clearly, there is no quadrangle and there is no intersection. So, we can eliminate B and D. Also, there are no curves joining together. Hence, you can eliminate C also. The right option is option A which you can see here. Next question. Gaurav's birthday falls just after 4th Tuesday of September 2000 something where the calendar is given. The day on which Gaurav celebrates his birthday is dash. Well in this all you need to find out is this Tuesday and come to the 4th Tuesday which would be 22nd. So your right answer is 23rd because his birthday falls just after the 4th Tuesday. So that is this. Next question. What comes next in the given pattern? Here there is a pattern given. We need to find this missing block here. Well here if you look at the upper row. This block is moving from right to left. So in the fourth block. This will come here. So in the given options, only option B has the first block moving to the leftmost position. Hence, that is our answer. Next question. There is a certain relationship between figure 1 and figure 2 given here. Establish a similar relationship between figure 3 and figure 4 by selecting a suitable figure from the given options. Which will replace this question mark in figure 4? So let's look at it. Pause the video if you need to. Well, in this combination of figure 1 and figure 2, what is happening is this figure 1 is getting inverted in the figure 2 and only the top portion is colored. Similarly here, this would be an inversion with only this top portion to be colored, which is done in option C. Hence, that will be your right answer. Next question reads, Latika, Garima, Maya, Siddhi and Kavya went out on some days during their exams. Now here there are some options given indicating who all went out and we need to find out who visited the most places. We we'll try to solve this. Let me give you a tip on how you could do this. Just make a table with Latika, Garima, Maya, Siddhi and Kavya and go on plotting ticks against each of the options as you proceed. Now for first one it says the only one who went out bowling was Siddhi. So Siddhi went out bowling. Next one says no one except Maya and Kavya went to the park. So Maya and Kavya were the ones who went out. Everyone except Siddhi went swimming. So leaving Siddhi we'll put ticks for everyone else. Latika, Garima and Maya watched a film together at the theatre. So, Latika, Garima, Maya went for the movie and the only child who did not visit the play center was Garima. So, except Garima, we'll put ticks for everyone else. So, the one who visited most places is the one with the most ticks that is Maya with four ticks. So, your right answer is option B, Maya. Next question. Select the odd one out. Here there are some images given. Can you figure the odd one? Well, according to me, the odd one is option D because there is no internal inversion of the figure. For example, there is a V here, there is a V here and there is a V here. But not in case of option D. Hence, that is my right option. Next question. How many lines of symmetry are there in the given figure? Well, in this given figure, a line of symmetry is something that divides the figure into two equal, identical looking parts. Now, in this case, the line of symmetry would be the diagonal since it's a square and both the end edges have a similar pattern. So, both the diagonals would be line of symmetry that makes it first two lines of symmetry and the other two would also be the vertical and horizontal line of symmetry 
because that also divides the figure into identical size and looks. So the total lines of symmetry is 4, that is option A. I hope you benefited from the session and you know where to reach us if you have any queries or questions. Till we meet again, take care.